Hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to fix the Dreamcast random reset issue. Let me start by explaining why this problem occurs. The Dreamcast power supply is connected to the motherboard via six different pins, each providing a certain amount of voltage to the various components of the console. These pins sometimes don't make good contact with the power supply, and this can cause your Dreamcast to randomly reset itself. So how do we fix it? Well, there are a few different ways you can try to fix the issue, but the one I'll be showing you in this video is the best solution. What we'll be doing is coating each one of the power supply pins with a layer of solder. This will increase the thickness of the pins and allow them to make better contact with the connections on the power supply. Now, I know a lot of you will be immediately turned off by the mention of soldering, but don't worry, it's very easy to do, and no prior soldering experience is required. So before we get started, here's what you'll need. A soldering iron, a roll of solder, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have all these, you're all set to proceed. The first thing we'll need to do is open up the Dreamcast. This is extremely easy to do. The Dreamcast case is only held together by four Phillips screws at each corner of the case. One of these screws is underneath the modem, so the first thing you'll need to do is remove that. Simply push on the tab on the underside of the modem and pull it out. Now that you can see all four screws, go ahead and remove them. Once all screws are removed, flip the Dreamcast over and remove the top of the case. Now we can see the internals of the Dreamcast, including the power supply, which is the board on the left of the GD-ROM drive. The next thing we need to do is remove the power supply. This is also very easy to do. It's only being held down by two Phillips screws on the left side. Remove these two screws. Next, disconnect the cable at the back of the power supply. Squeeze the tab and you should be able to pull it right off. The last thing holding the power supply in place is a small plastic tab on the left. Simply pull it back slightly and lift the power supply from the front. You should be able to remove it without too much of an issue. Once the power supply is removed, you can now see the six pins that we need to coat with solder. Before we proceed, if the pins look dirty, clean them with a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol or Windex. So to perform the repair, the first thing we'll need to do is heat up the soldering iron until it's hot enough to melt the solder. You can easily test this by touching the solder to the tip and seeing if it melts. If it does, you're all set to go. Now take the solder and melt a small amount of it on the tip of the soldering iron until you see a small drop. Now take the tip of the soldering iron and place it against the top of one of the power supply pins. The solder should slide down the pin and create a nice coating of solder. Repeat this step with each pin. Although not required, I do recommend applying some solder flux to the pins before soldering. This will allow the solder to flow much more evenly over the surface of the pin. As you can see, without the solder flux, it tends not to flow quite as nicely. Once you finish soldering, the final step is to clean each pin with a Q-tip. I recommend using Windex or rubbing alcohol to make sure they're perfectly clean. Just be sure to wipe off any excess liquids afterwards. Okay, so now that we've finished the repair, it's time to put everything back together. Take the power supply, line up the pins, and push down until it won't go down any further. Also make sure the plastic tab is holding down the board, and that the power supply cable input at the back of the board is slotted into place. Now replace the two screws and reconnect the cable. Once the power supply is back in place, you can now put the top of the console back on, replace the four Phillips screws, and snap the modem back into place. And that's it! Hopefully your Dreamcast random reset issue is now fixed. If this didn't solve the problem, then the issue likely lies with the power supply itself, and it will need to be replaced. This is also very easy to do if you can find a spare, simply remove the old power supply and slot the new one into place, and hopefully that will solve your issue. But anyway guys, I hope this video helped some of you out and prevented you from having to throw out your Dreamcast, which I hope you wouldn't do anyway because that is a terrible thing to do. But I do hope I was able to help some of you get your Dreamcast back in proper working order. And if this video was helpful to you, please leave a comment down below and let me know, like the video, and subscribe if you so desire. Thanks for watching everyone.